Okay, hi everyone. My name is Izu. So currently, I'm going to explain to you guys about our project development by using the Python language. Okay, so for the Python language, we are using two development environments, which are the first one, as you can see, we are using the Google Collab, and another one is a local um, development environment, which are PyCharm. The reason why we use these two is because um, we develop a model using both predictive algorithm which are the random forest and also the decision tree inside the Google Collab. We do some comparison by using different uh, parameters and also different splitting values uh, in order for us to ensure which one um, models could create a better performance and also accuracy. Once we have a good model and once we select uh, the model, we will be uh, transferred the model into the PyCharm in order for us to do the development for the Streamlit application. We deployed our predictive model into a usable application using the Streamlits. Uh, in you can use many kind of others web application also but we found that streamlits are very easy and also very user friendly for the data scientists that need to spend a lot of their times on data instead of <laughs> making the website itself okay so first um, let me explain to you guys about what we have done inside the Google Collab. As how I stated just now that we are building a predictive model and we are doing the comparison between the random forest and also the decision tree. So first of all, um, as how we know that we need to import some of the important um, libraries such as pandas, numpy, matplotlib and also others um, others library as we go down later. First of all, we need to import our data set and then we need to state it, the features uh, attributes that we are going to use uh, in my team and my project. I'm going to use these um, uh, attributes as my features attributes and set um, the label attributes which are the attribute that we are going to predict and also we are going to check in our prediction either our predicts is accurate or not okay and then for the pre-processing parts we are using the uh, beans beanings discretization by beanings uh, method so for this um, algorithm, we are using the KBIN discretizer from the scalen.processing libraries. Uh, and then we are using um, bins equal to 2. It means the size bin is equal to 2. And then after that, of course, we need to splitting the data, the data sets that we already been assigned into the X and Y values into the ratio of 0.7. Uh, to 0.3 this um, bean size and also the um, splitting ratio is one of the parameters that we are going to um, do the comparison between the random forest and also the decision tree okay so first of all for the decision tree we are doing um, the predictive model without the hyperparameter tuning so we are using the decision tree classifier as our prediction is about the offensive and also the defensive which are uh, strings instead of using regressor and also other stuff we are using the classifier and then here are the result the accuracy is being stated according to the parameters the binning size and also the split ratio just now and then we found that um, when we didn't satisfy or the accuracy of the model that didn't being tuned is not uh, a good enough we could tune the model by using the hyperparameter tuning method to increase the performance and also the accuracy of the models um, such as in our project we are using the grid search tuning um, algorithm to increase our model performance and also accuracy okay this is the some of the codes part the training part and then below is we print what is the best parameters that this model, this 
uh, the unit model have okay and then we are calculating or we are doing some accuracy testing um, for the tuned model okay so we can see that over here the accuracy of the tuned model is higher than accuracy of the model that doesn't have any tuning done okay once we uh, record the result we move to the next one which are the random forest we are using the same um, splitting ratio and also binning size for the random forest and for the decision tree because we want to see which one is better with the selected parameters okay so for this one same we are using the split ratio of 0 0.7 to 0 0.3 and then the first of all we are using the random forest classifiers um, function from the sklearn library we are using that one uh, which is untuned model also to test the accuracy and the output prediction and then um, of course that we also tested using the hyperparameter tuning to see either the accuracy is increased maintained or maybe it became decreased okay so first of all this is the grid search tuning that we use for the hyperparameter tuning by using the grid search cv from the sklearn library also and also the random forest classifier instead of the random forest regressor as how i said just now because of our um predict predicted columns or attributes have strings values inside it because of that we are using the random forest classifier okay so this one is the part where we list out what uh, kind of tuning that it should be done what is the parameter the tuning should be considered inside the trained model or tuned model and then we train the model it takes several times actually for the random forest it took a while maybe a 10 minutes depends on the processor your computer and then we are testing the accuracy of the tuned model okay for currently we can see that the the accuracy is maintained uh, but because of that we are doing some comparison by changing the splitting ratio by changing the bin size and also we are going to see the pre and post tuning accuracy once we have uh, done with the um, with the comparison with the testing and also we had satisfied and we select which model is the best we are going to save our model by using the import um, by using the picker function okay so the picker function will save our um, selected models into a picker files and then we can call the picker files inside any of the other stream rate files okay next uh, i'm going to jump into the pycharm um, as how i said just now we are using the pycharm to develop our deployed model okay so let's take a look inside the pycharm inside the pycharm what i'm i'm doing is i'm just transfer or copy paste the coding of the selected um, models or algorithm which in my um, performance comparison i found that the decision trees tuned decision trees has better and higher accuracy compared to the random forest okay so i'm using that so the first part is i just copy paste everything and then just maintain either i didn't put the random forest um, algorithm inside it as because i said just now we already select the decision tree because of the comparison that we have been made in the google collab okay in the pie chart we only take the one that we have been selected okay so after we um, save our model inside the picker classifier file we can call back the um, pickle file by using the pickle in function and do we do some pretty uh, we do some coding for the stream lead part this is the prediction where it gonna calls uh, this one the classifier dot predict is the same as the um, that decision tree classifier dot predict uh, the same one because of that we are using the pickle file because it's very um, very easy to use 
very easy to call the model and below this is the one that we define the layout and the design of our streamlit application and then also you can uh, customize the input styles the input value inside it and this one is the 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 algorithm of the predictions comes in where when the person clicking the predict button it automatic gonna call the prediction function and automatic gonna use the models um, algorithm to do the checking stuff and then we are going to print the result and voila it is done okay so in order to run it um, you need to click at the terminal and using this stream lead run and then the files the stream lead files you name it which in my um, project we name it our file as main.py main.py and run it oh <laughs> i missed the word lead It's gonna take a while to process the stream lead files, and when it is done, it's gonna automatically pop up the web application, the stream lead web application. So this is our uh, prediction applications. As you can see, the left side is the inputs, uh, where we adjust the input values based on the based on the players, the players. Um, attributes values that we want to predict either that player is an offensive or defensive player so currently I'm going to do some inputs values inside it and it'll be a rebounds uh, it gonna took a while for it's to running and I click we need to wait okay I click predict to the while and okay so the model or yeah the prediction model the predictive models predict that the players is a defensive based on the selected or the values i already listed up on the left side and then i try to make some changes i lowering the stealing and i try to increase the field goal and we're gonna check uh, what is the position strength of this player? Okay, so we click predict uh, And the model predict that this player is offensive. Okay, this is how our model um, Gonna look like inside once we deploy inside um, The website or servers or maybe any application that our stakeholders gonna be agreed on but currently, this is how it gonna look like. Okay, so I think that's all from me. So thank you very much. I hope you guys can learn something from it and gain some knowledge of the Streamly application, Decision Tree, Random Forest, Hyperparameter Tuning, and also the effects of parameters changing towards the accuracy and also performance of the models. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.